Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to another Sultan Sanctuary. Uh, last time I finished exploring the Dome of the Forgotten, and then I tried out some magic. So just doing a little peek into here, I can already see these things, which means that I can Mega Man my way up the side here. Nice. Uh, yep. Cool. Cool. So this is already new uh, territory for me. Pardon me, ma'am. Oh. Just gonna make it easy on me then, huh? Fine by me, dude. Not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. So these might be easier to hop down when I'm falling, because I'm still trying to consider, like, at some point I'm gonna have to do this pyramid, like, upside down. To some dis extent. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Should have figured it's too small for a mimic to crawl in. Oh. Hmm. Those are all my gear. Things I wore and had. funny so I think down this way there was some stuff dude it feels like unintended that I'm supposed to be like that I'm able to get over there and yet it's the only way that I know where to go so you know what am I gonna do I'm gonna start buying these, I think. Nice. Dude. Like, you have to jump at the very last second. It's really annoying, honestly. I don't know why he runs away sometimes. I guess he's just cowardly. Come on. <laughs> Can't do this to me, dog. I did it like 10 times, no problem. This guy looks like Ultimate Green Goblin. Who might just be called Ultimate Goblin. Dude. Did this get patched or something? Ah, oh, I'm losing it. What's happening to me? <laughs> this is like pathetic. What in the hell is happening? <laughs> I 
Should I just like cut this episode? All right, I'm back up here with all my stuff. Uh, Cause I'm looking at the guy just to see how I am supposed to even do that. And I learned that like, no matter what, I'm not doing it right yet. Yeah, okay, I can do that. That was silly of me. All right, cool. <laughs> well, at the very least, you're all blessed to see all of the stupid, horrible, dumb shit that I've done. Oh, that's interesting. So it stops the RX from running away, but also gives me just a little bit to jump on. Mm-hmm. Shortcut door. Where am I? Oh, this is the other side of the ziggurat. Okay, so I'm now above where I was. I can shortcut this. Can I? Ow. Oh, and also the answer is no. Okay, cool. Well, I've got a level, and I honestly just want to drop that off. Let's push this way. How many of those do I have exactly? 39. <whistles> Quite a lot. Oh, he can still run away. Coward, honestly. So, over this way, I knew it. Flamberage. Oh, I have the best prayer, huh? Or, you know, one of the best prayers. Flame orbiters. Not seen it, I guess. Whatever. I can't wait to get to the final area and, like, they combine everything that I've had to do. Ooh, boss time. Flame shield, holy attack. The dried king? Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm so crusty. Please pour a little water on me. He's really weird looking. 
Whoa. This is unusual, to say the least. I like the design, though. My damage is low. The fact that it's like stock, like crunch, like I feel like I should burp after it, you know? He's got a lot of health, but I can get through it. Honestly, one thing that is really nice about the concept of a sanctuary or a bonfire is like just the fact that you can say here is the hard reset you know because i feel like there's a lot of games where like you just keep going for as long as you want like in a skyrim like there's no there's never like a hard cutoff for your stuff and like getting a full restore is essentially just done by sleeping for like 24 hours straight. Wow, that was the first try. Woohoo, go me. Van Quished. Dried King's Ashes. I feel like half of these. Hello? Huh? So you killed him, you killed the king? Quite a relief. But is this a dream? The ziggurat we're in, well, it reminds me of the great tomb built by the sun king of Kulka Kulkaas. Kulkaas is where I studied until the mission. We're to sail to the west for a marriage alliance. I don't like what I'm hearing. No, that's wrong. We were to sail east to the Livin. We're going to make peace with the citadel of fire and sky. Kulka'a's sitting king had announced an alliance with Ascaria and with it allegiance to the new gods. The climate of our sorcerer collectives would surely sour. So we sailed, but was there a storm at sea? There was a storm at sea. I was washed ashore. I didn't think any of my fellow sorcerers survived. When I found the cigarette, I thought I got mad. But I'm no stranger to dark magic. Imagine a demon that feeds off the ruin of nations. A demon that collects. Such a powerful being could dwell on this island, or the island is the demon. And it feeds, claiming men, women, kings, and countries. I want you to explore my theory, and I have the thing to help you do it. I have something for you. It might burn a bit, but aren't all good things found in flame? Interesting. Dart brand. If you find the ruined temple, you know my theory is true. What about it? Do you agree? Of course, the island is a graveyard of civilizations. I have an air dash. You're using the gift I gave you to explore, explore, conquer, and vanquish. I'm pleased to have been able to make an impact. Moonlight has always been my friend. Now I call you friend as well. May Moonlight shroud you in this life. Whoa, hey, yeah, I'm uh, beat up.
I've got an air dash though. That's so cool. It's it's always the best. Air dashing is great and fun and cool. Every time it's awesome. There's literally not a game that would not be improved by air dashing. This is slightly faster. But only slightly. Get back here, for the love of God. What's wrong? You found your courage? I want to kill these women because they drop a covenant item for me. I think so, at least, because I think they dropped the lich thing. All right. Let's buy some cleric abilities. These don't really get used, so let's see what we can put on now. Blessed weapon. Slam dunk. Spirited Mend. Cleanse. Revive. Oh, it revives your ally. I guess that's for co-op. Let's try my old punching bag. Okay, still four swings, but... Well, that's fine. Not you guys, no. Yes. Okay, can't get up there yet but I will someday. Whoops. This can come off. I know where I can go. Oh my God. The power. I've just... Dude, the amount that I can move has just increased so hardcore. Yes. Yes. Oh, is this that area from below, from before?
And then where are you? Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> the power! This is intoxicating. Just the fact that I can go so far and move so fast. That's so for real. That's so cool. Every game is made better with a double jump. And every game is also made better with an air dash. Uh, word? <gasps> you can change directions with it! Dude, this is what I needed. In here. <laughs> I am so jazzed about this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> ah, they've stopped me. I love a good cigarette, by the way. Like, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I really do love going to areas like this. <sighs> yes. Great odds. And odds is like an axe, I think. So let's see where these two areas get off to. I think I know where they go. I know where I am. Yes. Okay, I don't think I can get back the way I want to go. But I can now get under here. 
theoretically. Uh, do you have the big salt? Yes. Thank you. Let me get rid of that. That is a load off my mind. No wonder I was having such a hard time doing that. I wasn't actually supposed to be doing it when I was. I was doing weird brute forcey like sequence breaking. These dudes really look like flying monkeys. Is Wizard of Oz maybe like the most watched movie of all time? I feel like literally everyone has seen Wizard of Oz. Then again, I could just be an American, you know? Getting an air dash just added so much to this game. Like it was already a pretty good game. I'm not I'm never ever going to stand here and say that it wasn't. What the hell? <laughs> okay, cool. Still not a huh. Uh oh. I was trying to, was trying to cow it out. Okay. Okay. I feel like I shouldn't have too hard of a time getting back to where I was. As long as I don't botch, which I may, but... We're officially attempting to avoid that. It'd be kind of nice if Red Shards uh, limited your... Wounding. I feel like that makes sense. I bumped the mic. I'm sorry. I feel like that would make sense because they're not replenishable. And so they're like, do you want to keep this run going? Do you want to keep it, like, make it last longer? Because if you do, you know, you can.
Det er snak bare. Cool. I, f I feel really good about that. I feel really, really good about that. Okay. So should I start pushing along for another file, maybe? The files are here. Yeah, let's push it along this way. Like, can I just be the first to say, hell yes? Like, I know it's a Metroidvania, and, like, some people even think that you shouldn't even bother with a Metroidvania that does not have... A double jump in it. And you know what? There have been good Metroidvanias without double jumps. It's just that they're always much better with them. Has it? Is it generic? Has it been used in the past? Yes, it has. But no one cares because it's awesome. Like, especially post-Symphony of the Night. If you're going to, like... Like, it's basically like a checklist, almost, for some people. Where it's like, do I get my dash? Do I get my air dash? Do I get a double jump? Do I get a, a, a wall jump? You know? But the thing is, is that nobody talks shit on that, because everyone likes those. Everyone loves having those. They're awesome, cool, fun abilities. Besides, the Metroidvania needs abilities. Because people talk about how, like, Dark Souls is the best 3D Metroidvania of all time. And it isn't. And there's a really big and easy reason for that. And it's because Dark Souls is not a Metroidvania at all. And Metroidvania needs... Oh, I think this is new. A Metroidvania needs abilities. You never get a double jump in Dark Souls. And it doesn't have to be a double jump that you get, but like... Never getting abilities means that it can't be a Metroidvania. Because that's not what a Metroidvania is. The hell was that? So let's see if there's anything else up here that I've missed. Not really. Uh oh. Right, I shouldn't have. Yeah. Let me go back and grab that. 